Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a lined note page. Before I show you how to make a lined note page, I just want to show you an example of one first so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to click into this file, and this is a lined note page that I made for one of my other books. And it's just made up of two text boxes. The top one has the page header in it, and the bottom text box has lines going all the way down. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do. So of course we'll do that in the YouTube video logbook. Okay, so to make that line text box, I need to open up my pages so I can see my pages. And I'm going to make that text box as a master page. So I'm just going to click on one of the master pages to bring them up in front of me. And then I want to um, remove these two text boxes. I'll just select each one and press delete. And then I'm going to press the W key to show my margins. Okay, so now I'm going to make a text box which will hold my page lines. And I'll do that by going over here and selecting the Type tool. And then I'll come back here and draw a box. And then next I'm going to um, create my text lines. So to do that, I'm going to go up here and select Type tab. And what my um, strategy is, is I'm going to make a tab that goes from margin to margin. And whenever I press tab on the keyboard, it's going to draw a line at the same time. So to do that, I need to make a tab stop that goes or that ends at this margin over here. So to do that, I'm going to select the right justified tab, which is the third one over. So I'm going to click on that, then click inside this rectangle that's just right above the ruler. So you can see the tab stop right here, and I'm just going to select it and just move it over. But to be honest, I always have a hard time lining it up exactly with the right margin. So what I'm going to do is go over here and select the text box just so I can see how wide it is from margin to margin. And I can do that by going up here and looking inside the width box, and it says that it's five inches. So I'm going to go back and select T again then select this tab stop and I'm going to type in five in this field over here. So now I have a tab stop that's at the five inch mark. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create the text that's going to be my line and that's going to be an underscore. So I'm just going to um, click inside this box and type in an underscore. So now when I close this box and click inside the text box and press tab, I have a line. So if I want more lines, all I have to do is press enter, tab. So now I have a second line and I can just continue pressing enter and tab until I have all the lines that I want. One thing I do recommend is checking the spacing between the lines. You do want to have enough space for people to write in. So I do recommend printing this page out and writing in a few words to see how the spacing is. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how to um, print the page in the next video. But for now, let's just go ahead and change the spacing so there is more space between the lines. And you do that by adjusting the font size. So I'm going to go up here and just select this box. And then I'll press T so I could um, change the font size. So right now, you can see it's a 12 point font. And then when I change the size to maybe let's try 24, you can see that the spacing between the lines widened. And then another way you can do it is also by um, clicking in this box below and doing the same. So there's just um, you know different ways you can do that. And I would just experiment to until you find the setting that you like, but what I'm going to do is put this back on auto. I'm going to change this to a 14 point font. And then I'm going to change this to Myriad Pro as again, that is my favorite font. I just want to stay consistent with my fonts throughout this book. So I have Myriad Pro 14 points with the auto selected. So I'm happy with this font and the lines and the spacing between the lines. So what I'm going to do is just make uh, more lines to fill up the text box. So again, I'm just going to press enter tab, enter tab until I fill up the text box. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this little red square popped up and that's because I have too much text for my text box. 
So you can either um, fix that by removing a line or making the text box larger. And so I just made it larger so that red thing went away. And now I'm just going to um, make this text box go from margin to margin. So that way I have lines going all the way down. So again, I'll just click on here and press enter tab all the way down. Okay, so now when I press W, you can um, see what um, the line page looks like. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to just duplicate that page over here. So I'm going to press W again to get my margins. And I'm going to select this box and copy and paste it over. And there you have it. Now you have um, two line pages as your master page. And now we just need to get those pages down here. So to do that, I'm going to click on the pages section and I'm going to create a new page by pressing this. So now I just um, created pages four and five. And what I need to do is form a connection between the master page and these two pages. So to do that, I'm just going to select both pages, right click, select apply master to pages, and then change this top line from none to A. So now um, pages four and five have the A on it, they're connected. So anything that's in this master page section up here, is going to show up down here. So let's just say I want to make a light notebook. Um, so all I have to do is just um, select these two pages and duplicate them. And then just um, keep going until I have as many pages as I want. So um, you could um, select multiple pages just to make it a little bit faster. So right now I have 17 pages. Um, so it just starts with my title page goes down to my copyright and dedication page. And then I have several lines of line pages. And of course, it's good practice to um, have the last page just end on this left hand side. So I'm going to just add one more page. And I kind of made a mistake here. So let me, um, I think it's because I have this highlighted up here. So let me just undo that. And then I'm just going to go down here to 17 and then here I'll add um, another page. So now I have page 18 ending on the left hand side. So I know this is a small book, but um, you know, it's just perfectly laid out with multiple pages of those lines. So just one more thing I want to show you. Um, if I go back to this file over here, I do have the page heading of notes on the top. So let me go ahead and change this note page so it's the same. So I'm just going to again click inside one of the master pages. And what I'm going to do is first press W so I can see my margins. And then I'm going to move this text box down a little bit so I have space for a page header. And I just need to make another text box and type in notes inside. And then I'm going to, um, you know, just format my fonts really quick. So I have Myriad, let's try 36, and I'm going to center it. And then what I want to do is just bring um, these lines back up. But they are, um, there's too many lines here in the bottom, so I'm just going to delete a few. So they all match, and then I'm going to, um, make my text box smaller so it all fits. I think I'll just um, bring this up a little bit more. Make this a little bit wider and wider and add another line to it. Okay, so now I have a line note page with a header on top and I'm going to just duplicate that over here. So I'm just going to delete this text box and then or, and then select both of these text boxes and copy them over. So what's cool is when I go down here, all of these pages down here now have the notes heading on top too. And that's because I made the change up here. So any changes up here in the master section will be reflected in the pages down here.